Now, where can you go to check some of these graphs? Fooplot.com is a good website. Desmos is pretty good as well. Desmos has a lot of advanced features that we won't need. All I did was plug in or type in the function we just looked at here. Be careful, you have to type in 8 times x and 20 times x. This could be a huge pain on an um, iPad or iPhone keyboard. But you plug it in, hit enter, and you will get your graph, and you will see end behavior. And x-intercepts, you have to... Things aren't working out so well for me here, but somehow... Uh, you can scroll down to the y-intercept. Usually I use the mouse, but I'm not on a computer right now. So there is a y-intercept, negative 16, which would be somewhere way down here. And I guess I could go and mess around with the window. I'll go to negative 20. Should cover me. There we go. Slightly different view, and you can see the y-intercept. This is a nice way to check your function right here. You could write an expanded form or a factored form. It doesn't matter. It would graph either way. What I'm about to do is show you the ultimate tool, which is Wolfram Alpha. So this is WolframAlpha.com. It's probably the most powerful calculator I've ever used in my life. It's free. You can access it on your phone, computer, wh wherever you want. It's WolframAlpha.com. And what you do is a knowledge computational knowledge engine. Uh, basically, you just type in uh, whatever you want up here. I did the same polynomial, x cubed minus 8x squared plus 20x minus 16. Hit this little button over here. Takes a minute to think. And it tells you your input. Just make sure you didn't make a mistyping. What it doesn't let you do is move the graphs around. So it's not the best for graphing. It'll give you a rough sketch. You can see crossing bouncing. The second graph is pretty uh, useless for anything other than end behavior. Here's some alternative forms. All right, what's that first form? That's factored form. The second form is a weird factored form. And the third form is, I don't know what that is. Uh, you could, well, sort of shifted by two, but Tells you your roots right here. Roots are also known as zeros. And domain range, that'll tell you about those. And surjectivity, we'll get into that. Well, we'll get into injectivity. Derivatives, all calculus stuff. Local min, local max, right there. And more calculus stuff right here. So Wolfram Alpha can be very useful. If it didn't give you what you want, you can type, uh, for example, factor. So factor, if for some reason it didn't factor the way you wanted, you just type factor and hopefully, and I'll tell you, there you go, result right there. And that is how you can factor pretty much instantly a polynomial. Well, instantly being after you type it in and wait about three seconds, you'll be able to factor it. Now you want to have access to this on your midterm, so I would strongly recommend you only use this for checking purposes, not for doing uh, the problems, but only for checking.